This short video is a guide to the recognition of Aeschylus Pavia. The bark of this tree is typically pale grey, developing fishes at an early age and slowly becoming platy and broken. The flowers of Aeschylus Pavia are quite distinctive. They vary from a pale pink to a deep red, but they have noticeable constrictions um, in the trumpet of each flower. The fruits that then develop from these flowers are pale grey-green with a smooth outer husk. The palmately compound leaves are borne in opposite pairs on rather robust twigs and the leaves themselves varying between four and seven leaflets a relatively wide obovate leaflet formed with a delicate acuminate tip and quite noticeable teeth at the leaf margin. In my experience the form of this tree is relatively upright for a horse chestnut um, although still producing a relatively broad crown they tend to be what I would call high domed and the large winter butts, the laterals born in opposite pairs are a pale brown, sometimes to a grey-green in colour, lacking the resinous nature of Aeschylus hippocastinum.